Hello everyone, and welcome back to the bunker for part 3. Now, there's a problem with the air filtration system, and that is down at level 4, so we need to go down there. But before we do, we need to find ourselves an NBC suit. And I haven't found one in levels 1 and 2, so I'm assuming there's going to be one in 3. So, if you're up to it, John, let's go downstairs. Okay. Still kind of getting used to moving around the bunker. It's been a while. I need to do it. Yeah. Best foot forward, John, come on. One step at a time. Oh, and by the way, I forgot to mention, there may be a monster or something down there. Something made a horrifying sound in that, uh, that cutscene when I turned the power off. It may just have been the filtration system, but it didn't sound like it. Okay, level three. Okay, so we saw like a brief map of this place, didn't we? This is where the war room is, I believe? Alright, flip one of the switches. Uh, that one, yeah, sure. Here we are. The war room. Exactly. Okay, uh, well, uh, let's see, what can we examine? We can examine the maps over here, it looks like. Let's have a look at the table. Um, where are all the units stationed? Do I? Okay, yeah, we've got a choice here, it looks like. Um, which toy do I want to play with? I don't know which is which, honestly. Let's just choose the middle one. Drew Lark, you can be right at the front with the tanks. <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit. So out with it. What couldn't you tell me yesterday? There's no hope for any of them. I... I don't know. It's not radiation poisoning. The water's clean, the air is clean, it's not the food, and yet the symptoms. I can't shake the feeling that someone is up to something. Damn it, George, we don't have time for your fantasies. You need to figure this out with facts. We don't know where this thing comes from, or how it will spread. We have no cause, we have no cure. We just don't have the resources to deal with it. There is no help! There is no cavalry! It's just us. So get yourself together and fix this, do you understand me? Oh, hang on. Yep, yeah, quick, I'm not gonna be here. Sir. Oh, cooling system. Whew! <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Bishop, I'm, I'm just on edge. This place, it's full of ghosts. Huh. Am I going to take that literally? I don't think so. I don't think it's a ghost I heard, was it? Oh, hang on. Which Soldier. one's this? Soldier, okay. Rocky, of course, yes. Alright, a few more to go. Um, can I actually have a look at it? I used to pinch these blocks to make my toys. That actually makes a lot of sense. That might be why you just grabbed one at the end there. Yeah, so you carve them out of the little wooden blocks, you little sneak. Okay, like it. Um, alright. Air conditioning mode and stuff over there, I see. Uh, let's have a look at this map over here. What do we got? Is this London? Uh, yeah, it seems to be. Sort of the greater London area, maybe. There's the Thames. Waiting report. Over 6,000 confirmed dead. Nearly 5,000 there. Communications. Over fucking 10,000. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, um... Shit, let's go back. What about the other map? There was one over here, wasn't there? Yeah. What we don't know for certain is the contamination levels. We can calculate the likely fallout and its effects, but we don't have any good model for anthrax spore spread, oh, or even damn. how it's affected by radiation. Look, we do know from reports at AE3 in Oxford that anthrax was used in Wave 3. 
We've just got no idea of the extent of it. It's not as if we can go up and test anything. We can't even count the bodies. This wasn't just a, a bombing run, this was absolute annihilation. Whoever dropped the bombs really, really wanted everyone dead. Ah, uh, okay. Um, I suppose the next move is to go towards the air conditioning mode sign, so over we go. Alright, let's see. Emergency access only. Is this going to be the same thing as the sick bay one? Let's try it. It's probably going to be locked, I guess. It's locked. Yeah, okay. It's not an emergency. Not yet. Okay, can't play with the light switch. No toys down here that I see. Let's try this this room here. Alright. What do we got here? What's this? Oh. I'm hoping that's to pull a light and... Yeah, brilliant. Whoa. Alright. Maybe I didn't hear a monster or an animal down in the uh, in, in level 4. Maybe what I heard was an axe-wielding maniac. Wearing a suit like this. This, I presume, is an NBC suit. This is what I need, I guess. Gas mask and all. Just your size, John. What luck. Uh-huh. Okay, brilliant. Anything else? Yes, yes. What have we got here? What is that? Uh, oh, um, it was it was a gauge for something. I just need the one, apparently. I guess that goes with the suit. What have we got here? Oh, I see. Oh, it's a, yeah, it's a Geiger counter, I see. Yep, okay, that makes sense. Uh, so I've got the protective clothing. I assume I got, you know, the, the coat. And I got the gas mask as well. Got the Geiger counter. And sure all zips and fastenings and, yeah, common sense and everything. Sure. I think that's it, isn't it? Probably. Anything else to find in here? No more toys? Don't think so, to be honest. I don't need another one of those. No, no, no. Alright, let's head back. Um... Are we ready? I think we might be ready to go down to level 4, honestly, and I don't think there's another option, so... Let's go back. And one more time. Okay. What is that? It could be the system, it could be someone bashing against the door. I guess we'll find out. Right. So maybe the person with the axe finished off half the people here? It wasn't just radiation poisoning or something that was similar to radiation poisoning like the doctor had said? Maybe someone was up to something. Maybe it was the commissioner. Maybe it was me or my mother. Maybe it was the doctor. Mm, trying to shift the blame. I'd love to know your theories, by the way, in the comments, if you've got any so far. But here we are, level four. Okay. This is the place. This is where I heard the noise, I think. Oh. <laughs> where do you start? I mean, we didn't really check the manual for this one, did we? So we're, uh, we're I don't know, we're kind of going in blind. Where, where do you actually start? Do we just tighten some valves up or what? Suction strainer? I, no idea. Okay. We can go that way. Uh, there's a little room or something there. We can go over to the right. Can't seem to interact with this at all. Um, I don't know. Let's. I get. Yeah. Let's try this. Let's try this. Okay. Yeah. It's a little office, I guess. Can you turn this on. So little. Is there a power button somewhere? Or the. Oh, the light. Okay. Yeah. Ideally, I want to see what I'm doing. Okay. What's this? 
We've got the schematics, like the M&E drawings, it seems. Air filtration unit check, day 18th of October 95. 1611, checked by PJT. Main filtration unit running okay. Cleaned out and replaced filters. Check back up just to be sure. Readings are a bit high, but Frank says no need to replace at the moment. Probably just as well. I'm concerned about our stock level of filters for the main unit. We're chewing through them a lot faster than Spec says, due to higher outdoor red than expected. Frank says he'll have a word with Bishop about stocks and sorting out the backup longer term. BJ. Okay. All right, well, let's close this. Uh, that might prove useful, I guess. Back out of that. That was a 95, though. I mean, it's, it's been a couple of decades. Um, right. It's just this top one we can have a look at. It seems that that was it. Uh, let's back out of this. Now with the lights on, maybe I can interact with this at all. Yep, there we go. And it's an Amstrad this time. Great. 7% filter. Oh, the filter was broken. Right. He said that they were chewing through filters. Hopefully they've still got some spares. Uh, disconnect pressure at main valve before continuing. So it's offline at the moment. Filter effectiveness. Fucking zilch. Okay. Where's that damn back button? Or maybe do I... Right. Let's enter, is it? Fair enough. Weird button for it, but... That's how we come out of that screen. And that is, I believe... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hang on. Just by the back button. I didn't see this. What have we got here? Okay, just just the one drawer, I guess. Accident book. Oh, hang on. Hey. I guess I've been here before. Which one's this? The engineer. Oh, yeah, I suppose that makes sense. The accident book? Let's have a look. Accident report. Date 12th of August 92, 1910. Filed by F. Hurley. Ran scheduled test of backup filtration unit. Rad levels way too high on output. Over 500 rem. Red lights across the board. Thought it was a duff filter. Tried a new one. Same. Sacrificed a Geiger. Stuck it on a rod and ran it round inside the casing. We've got contaminated dust clogging the lower X duct. God knows how it got in. Might be a hairline, or maybe the filter just couldn't cope with the levels being so much higher than we expected. This is really, really bad. Without taking this apart, cleaning, reseeing, and decontaminating the whole thing, it's useless. We have no backup air filtration system. But I can't see how we can do it. We don't have a clean space to do this in. Bishop just shrugs pretty much. Keep it quiet, Frank. You'll only worry people. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> what else isn't he telling us? Well, that perhaps he's an axe-wielding murderer, but I... No, no, maybe not. Um, from everything I've been reading, I'm surprised I've made it this long, honestly. Blimey, okay. Okay, alright, so let's back out of this. There's nothing else in this drawer? Okay, can we just... Uh, yep, yeah, back up. Shut this up. There's nothing else down here? I'm assuming... Well, I'm assuming no. Okay. Right, let's go out and see if we can fix the problem, shall we? Okay, where are we going to start? I... We're looking for a, a valve, really, and I don't see one. Um, could be... Maybe over there somewhere? Let's go this way. Ah, here we go. A main pressure valve. Yeah, let's try that. I think that's step one at the very least. Oh, what's this? Oh, I see. Okay. <laughs> keep tapping, keep tapping. <laughs> okay. Well. All right. Well, at least now I can hear myself think and perhaps see where I'm going as well. Alright, so that's the first step. Um, can we have a look at this again? Oh, was there anything else I could interact with? Now that, you know, there's no steam rushing at my face. 
Uh, this, I guess? Let's have a look. So there's the main pressure valve. A couple of gauges here for some things. I need to change the filter now. Fair enough. Fair. I thought you were going to take the ladder for some reason, but okay, yep, sure. The filter. Um, doesn't look like that's going to be over here, so let's back out. Nope. Condensers. Let's back out. It is probably in the other direction, actually. This way, maybe. Yeah, okay. Okay. Hang on. Oh, hang on. There's something over here. Uh, is this what we're looking for? Not entirely sure, to be honest. Uh, a few bits and bobs, some tools. Nothing I can actually interact with, so let's back out. What about this? I don't really like the look of that symbol, I've got to be honest. Do we have to open this? Is this where the filters would be? Seems a bit silly, but uh, there's another one of those cracks. Um, let's see... Ah, over here, okay. Oh dear. Do we have to do them all individually? This might take a while. <laughs> Oh, good man. Saves me a little bit of work, I suppose. Wouldn't want my index finger to get tired. Shit. And this is why we brought the suit. Okay, so what we got? Uh, we got a couple of them. Um, if it's anything like the fuses, this one might be the one that needs looking at. Looks like there's like scorch marks all around it. Definitely looks in worse shape. So that's, that is that, that's a filter, is it? Oh shit, yeah. Well, I saw a couple of those. I saw a couple of those in the box. Maybe I should have a look. Yeah, in here. Right. I think ah! I could use these to fix the unit. Okay, here we go. I need to get rid of this damaged filter first. Okay. The spare filters. I guess you can't just like throw it away or whatever, can you? Uh, have we got a bin? <laughs> is that the bin? It actually might be. Where you would store it? I mean, yeah. Yeah! Alright! I'm getting it. Yeah, <laughs> just sling it in. Very carefree. Lock it up, never to be seen again. Okay. Now I have a hand free. It works. So the gameplay in this game is paper thin. But there are puzzles of sorts, and I've played a lot worse as far as FMV games go. Right, so back over we go. We've got to slot this in its place. There you go. Okay, so if that's closed up, locked in place and everything... Is it just a case of turning the valve again? I need to turn the pressure valve back on. Apparently so, okay. It's very, very bright over there. I can't actually go around to see what that is, unfortunately. But, um, okay. Back this way, over to the ladder. Yep. Up we go, yep. No sign of anyone or anything down here, so maybe it was just this system that was making that noise. Oh, come on. Oh, no. Oh, no. You're going to claim compensation for this, aren't you? Well, that didn't look great. What did you do? Did I just see rads go up? Don't just lie there! He's not like knocked out or anything, is he? Fucking hell, mate. That couldn't have gone too much worse.
the fuck? It's the guy. It's, it's, it's um, Commissioner Bishop. I think that's the guy in the suit with the axe. What the fuck? Right. Uh, tell me you you messed with that lever again. You you, know, you didn't just leave that with the rads going up, did you? Did he break his arm or sprain his wrist or something? What the fuck? I guess that was a pretty bad fall. Right, we're going up then, are we? Oh yeah, okay. Yep, yeah, go on. <laughs> Yeah, I haven't seen him flex his fingers or anything, so that must be pretty bad. Maybe he's lost all feeling to it. He seems to be struggling just to go up the stairs. I mean, yeah, he's obviously in a lot of pain, feeling dizzy, probably. That must be bad. Okay, we go up again, do we? We do, alright. Yeah, got to really, really attack that left mouse button. I guess we're, oh, we might be heading to sick bay, actually. That might make some sense. Yeah, straight there. No digging around. Oh, shit. I didn't realize it was that bad. That must be a broken bone or something. No wonder he's like whimpering in pain. Fuck. Ugh. Oh, that glob of saliva there. That's not going to help it, I don't think. I've got to be honest, Adam Brown, the, uh, the, the guy who, who's acting as John, He's giving it his all, and oh shit. That looks really good. So it's a broken, it's a broken arm. Fuck. Alright, um, what are we doing? We're, we're gonna have, we're gonna have a go with this, are we? What is that? This is why you should always have someone with you when you're working with ladders. I suppose in this guy's case, it uh, wouldn't have happened, but still. Health and safety. It really couldn't have gone much worse. Alright, does that help? I can't imagine it does, really. Ah, oh, man. What are you doing? Oh, this is going to be bad. Go on, go on. Is this going to push it back in, or...? Ooh. Holy shit. She can't have had a white cell count so low yesterday. And then so high today. I'm not going to do it this time. I just don't understand it. And she's no better. Bleeding, vomiting, diarrhea, liver failure, it's got to it be. It can't be radiation sickness. Look, these results... Of course it can. This place probably leaks like a sieve. It was built by the lowest bidder. No one thought there'd be a real war. I know Bishop said that we'll be safe here, but... Honestly, George, do you believe him? I'm sorry. No, don't worry. We've all been under a lot of pressure. Margaret, where's the Lindana we've been to? I think they're top left. You and Evelyn had it for Mrs. Harrison. Yes, but there were two unopened bottles there on Monday. We, we have to keep on top of the stop. We can't have... What is it? Nothing. Hmm. I think I made a wise choice not sort of stepping in there and announcing myself. Just listening in. Jesus. It's still sticking out, mate. That's... Ugh. 
Do we even have the resources to deal with this? Right, uh, okay. Uh, we're not going to be pushing it in with our thumb anymore, it seems. I need to bandage my arm. Ah, okay, okay. Alright, that makes sense. Right, um, because I'm a cruel bastard, I'm actually going to end this video here and leave him writhing in pain for a while. Thank you very much for watching part three of The Bunker. I'm really loving it so far, hopefully you guys are too. Join me back next time where hopefully we'll bandage this guy's arm. And hopefully the air filtration system is back up and running. See you then. Oh, hang on. Yep, yeah, quick. I'm not going to be here. Sir. Oh, cooling system. Whew. <laughs> what else isn't he telling us? Well, that perhaps he's an axe-wielding murderer, but I... No, no maybe not. Yeah, <laughs> just sling it in. Oh, no. Oh, no. You're going to claim compensation for this, aren't you? I've got to be honest, Adam Brown, the, uh, the, the guy who, who's acting as John, He's giving it his all and- oh shit. That looks really good. What are you doing? Oh, this is gonna be bad. Go on, go on. He's gonna push it back in or- Ooh. 